Well, good day viewers. Today we have a 2015 Chevy Trax. It has the 1.4 liter turbo Ecotec engine in it. It's got just over 40,000 kilometers on it. And I think we've got a catastrophic loss of oil pressure. Let's see the mileage. 40,172. And I set up the camera so you can hear what this thing sounds like. So the customer's already changed the engine oil in this thing. And the engine oil is pristine. It's not contaminated with gasoline. I don't know what the original oil was looked like and I asked him if he saved the oil filter and he didn't because I would have cut it open to see if there was any metal filings in it. I'm going to start this thing up for a few seconds so you can hear the noise. So I had to put a battery charger on this to uh, bring the battery up because I had the key on for a few minutes and it's depleted the battery. So I'm going to turn the fan off on my battery charger and fire this thing up so you can hear it. So we're going to scan it because the oil pressure light is on. I don't think this has an oil pressure sensor. I think it's just got an idiot light. We're going to scan it and see if there's any codes. So here's the codes that it's reporting. P0324 knock sensor module performance. Probably because of the noise in the engine and an immobilizer. Key incorrect. That's in history. Uh, tire pressure sensor codes, it's low voltage codes, low voltage codes. So I'm just going to have a quick look in the engine data to see if there is an actual oil pressure PID. Six speed automatic data. Let's see, that would be under, probably under engine data. Yeah. 40,000 kilometers, wow. Customer said they were driving and the uh, light start, oil pressure light started flashing and then they drove it a few kilometers to make it home, about three or four kilometers. Come on, snap on, we need a keyword search. Oil pressure switch. Oil level switch, but that's it. No oil pressure PID. Well, I'm going to do a, a search to see if there's any TSBs on it, any cases on it. Seems very unusual to have a catastrophic loss of oil pressure. Uh, I think this has got a vein type oil pump in the timing cover or front cover of the engine, but we'll have a look at some service information on it. So I'm on Identifix website and I did a keyword search for oil pressure and there's a couple of TSBs, nothing that applies. There's one about a needle bearing found in the oil pan from a roller rocker on the V6 and V8s, but nothing that applies to this. Uh, no cases for low oil pressure on this engine that I can see here. I don't think it's a falsely indicating low oil pressure. Let's see what it says to test oil pressure. The sender is, where is that? Disconnect the oil pressure switch, wiring harness plug. So it's at the top back of the engine, right on the oil filter housing. So maybe we'll throw a pressure gauge on it. So the oil pressure switch is on the oil filter housing and it's definitely a switch because it only has one wire to it. It has a little uh, heat shield clipped over top of it. So we're going to thread this out. Probably going to get some oil come out of there. But, uh, oh well, it'll only be a cup full or so. I don't know what thread is on the end of the switch. I used to use, uh, I think, a 15 16 socket, deep socket to take it out. Looks like straight thread. It's not tapered.
you know, that's a bad sign. No oil came out. That's a fancy thread. Looks like 10 mil. 10 mil fine thread. I'm going to see if I can find a, a fitting to put in there. I'm going to start this up for a few seconds with the oil pressure gauge on it. It's actually a fuel pressure gauge, but that's 10 PSI. confirmed we got zero oil pressure something catastrophic has happened to that oil pump so we're gonna do an exploratory here I removed the engine lower cover with a few push pins and a couple of bolts uh, to take the timing cover off the oil pan has to be removed so I'm thinking of just taking the oil pan off and having a look inside so I'm using this uh, magnetic resonance heater to heat these exhaust bolts because if you just try and horse them off they're likely going to snap I prefer this over the torch because obviously there's no open flame concentrates the heater on the bolt I spray with penetrating fluid so that you can actually see it smoking heat helps to crack the rust this is just a cheap Amazon magnetic heater back and forth a couple of times too it helps now I'll take it off with this electric impact gun this is going to come out of here. I might have to drop this exhaust. I'll move the camera out of the way. So you can't get the pipe out by removing the front first. It flexes and then pulls out. And then obviously disconnect the oxygen sensor as well. So I had to remove the uh, oil pan heater from the back corner. And I'm draining the oil into a clean white container. You can see the oil looks like brand new because that customer did change it after the fact. But I'm curious as to whether there's not any, any metal in this oil. Doesn't look like it, but... This container was pristine when I cut it open. So there's no metal in there. Hmm, so what happened to this oil pump? Pickup fall off, maybe? I see they got inverted torques on the oil pan bolts. So, I took all the oil pan bolts out. Two 15 mil heads here and one 18 mil up here in the bell housing because there's a metal bracket. The pan drops down if you pry between this ear with a uh, heel bar. You can get the pan loose, but it won't come out. The nose of the pan goes into the harmonic balancer and it hits the torque converter or catalytic converter. According to the service literature, you're supposed to remove the catalytic converter. So there is a band clamp up here. Uh, you gotta take the heat shield off, which I've done. 
all the bolts are E10, but you can use a 5 16 uh, eight point wrench on them once you get them loose. So I'm gonna try and just loosen this catalytic converter and tilt it this way, slide it off to the side to see that the back of the pan will drop and hopefully it'll come out of the front. So if you remove the four shield bolts and the two bracket bolts, nuts I should say, and loosen off the clamp up there, you can rotate the catalytic converter on its mount and then the oil pan will drop down and come out of this lip here on the harmonic balancer. So let's have a look inside the pan. It doesn't look good. The oil pump pickup is incorporated into... Uh oh, that's not a good sign. That's a vein from the oil pump. Well, look at all the metal in the bottom of the pan. And she drove this thing five to eight kilometers with no oil pressure. And it's been running several minutes after that on and off. I think we better investigate the option of a used engine if we can find one. I suppose we could pull a couple of bearing caps off and look at the bearing surfaces, but it's usually a bad sign when you see an oil vein, oil pump vein. That metal will be throughout the entire engine because that's not good. A catastrophic failure of the oil pump. Hmm. I checked with the dealer on warranty potentially and this vehicle's branded so it has no warranty but even if it did there is no policy adjustment. This is not, from what I can find, it's not a common failure.